Back in March, L. Brooks Patterson announced he would not be seeking re-election as Oakland County Executive because he's fighting pancreatic cancer. He only had about a month to digest the news himself when he made that announcement. Recently, our Devin Scullion sat down with Patterson at his home to talk about this new battle facing one of the feistiest political fighters of our time. And I will be done. And every morning I get up, I say, I'm not going to, if this is your will, I'm not going to fight it. I will be done. Yes, and Brooks Patterson is thinking a lot about faith comfort. right now and about mortality and about what it'll take to beat cancer. Lots of people beat cancer nowadays, but then you say, well, it's pancreatic cancer. And people respond by saying, oh, pretty much his reaction too when the doctor walked in. And he said, I got some very bad news for you. In fact, very bad. And I said, well, what's that, doc? And he said, you uh, have uh, pancreatic cancer, and we deem it to be stage four. When you talk to Brooks about anything, whether it's government policy, the accident that almost took his life seven years ago, or his current cancer fight, you are going to laugh. That's just how it is with Brooks, and the doctor likes that. The first, the first question I'm going to ask is, is probably the first question everybody asks How much time do I have? He says, I don't know. Only God knows. You gave my health records to Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> and he starts laughing. He says, that's what I want to see is attitude. Attitude is up to 90% of how we're going to win this fight. And he's a guy who knows his way around a fight, be it political or personal. But how many times can you beat the odds? The car wreck should have killed him. He was given a 3% chance of survival. So again, apply some humor. Um, but two, I mean, wheelchair hand cancer. <laughs> Come on, God, I'm Republican. He started chemo. It is, as you imagine, unpleasant. But he does what he must to try to be among the 11% who survive. Now understand, no matter what happens from here on out with the cancer, this will not be the worst thing to happen in Brooks Patterson's life. That sad distinction will always be the loss of his son, Brooksy, who was killed in a snowmobile accident 12 years ago. I've been blessed. Uh... I had four, now three, beautiful kids. The one I lost, that's where I can get myself into you know, a terrible situation. I don't think you ever get over that. I'm looking at his picture right over your shoulder. Since the diagnosis, Brooks has no problem telling you he is spending more time thinking about faith, calling priests and pastors to talk about the forgiveness of sins and about what happens at the end. Reactionary? Yes, and he's okay with that. The Father gave me the absolution, which if you're not Catholic, you don't quite understand. That eradicates all sins back to the day you had baptism. And I said, uh, I turned 80, I said, Father, not a hell of a lot of things I can get into at age 80. Appreciate the offer. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, you're, you're so at this point in time, at, uh, facing what I'm facing, I'm going to ask all the questions I was always embarrassed to ask, you know, about heaven, about God. Uh, and uh, what, what, what proof do you have if you don't have proof? And so your faith is stronger than mine, but how did you get to that point? Uh, because I may have to you know, cross that bridge. You know, the night the first signs of trouble surfaced with Patterson's cancer, he was on his way to see his grandson in a play, which fits at the moment. I brought up county business and political talk, but I had to direct the conversation to those matters because right now Brooks is mostly talking about family and friends, you know. The important things. Devin Skillion, Local 4. Well, that sense of humor will go a long way. It really does. The attitude, as his doctor said, the attitude really needs to be, you know, like he is right now to beat it. So yeah, it matters the most in yeah. those fights, yeah. And we wish, wish him very well. Absolutely. All right.